Hey everybody. So I have tried to build a generalized, generalizable in context goal solver or uh, solution generator system. You just give it a simple goal and it uses Monte Carlo three search and self reflection and some other uh, interesting strategies to actually uh, produce the best results. This particular one has a two stage elimination process. We generate stage one rubrics, and only the solutions which pass stage one goes to stage two rubrics. Because it's very difficult actually to, uh, for general tasks, especially for like idea generation or things like that, to get model to actually score these in a uh, variety of ways. Usually the scoring uh, ends up being pretty um, uniform. So by creating two-stage rubric solutions, I tried to break away from that. But even then, uh, you know, some stagnation can happen. I'm still uh, working on to adjust this, but I wanted to share this with you so that maybe you'll have some better ideas on improving it. By the way, the code files for this will be available at my Patreon, and the link will be in the comment and description, depending on where you're watching this from. So. We are plotting the progress of this in real time, but uh, in essence, when this um, system runs, we generate uh, two rubrics, stage one rubrics and stage two rubrics. Stage one rubrics are more crude. Uh, they assign a lot of points. If we actually take a look, here are the rubric stage one uh, stage uh, settings. So stage one allocates a total of 70 points out of a 100, but it breaks those down into 10 chunks. And we set a minimum score to pass stage one. If you look at, this is AI generated. So stage one rubrics include, for example, uh, seven rubrics, 10 points, and each of those 10 points are distributed according to this rule, and then same fit rubric two. The goal here that we set it to, uh, to for the AI is to list five totally unique and useful suggestions for a new simple software as a service using LLMs. Uh, and, you know, if you ever tried something like this, this kind of uh, suggestion, ideation, getting, or brainstorming is very difficult with AI. So I wanted to uh, automate that with this Monte Carlo tree search system. So and then, uh, so we allocate 70 points to stage one and stage two gets uh, increments, meaning the remaining 30 points will be allocated in one point chunks. If you look at stage two rubrics, uh, the AI has created a total of 30 rubrics. Each one is worth one point, for example, brand storytelling and marketing appeal would give this one point. So stage two is divided into much smaller chunks. So in essence, uh, we create these rubrics and then we uh, generate a bunch of solutions and we first test it with rubric one. These solutions are generated with a Monte Carlo three search and you can adjust its parameters here. You can set how many total nodes to explore here. Parallel branches are five and per branch expansion, the children for per branch is four. So in each iteration, we'll actually be exploring 20 different uh, alternatives, 20 solutions. See the puck score is how much exploration versus exploitation is going to take place. The higher the score, the more random exploration the system does, the lower the score. Uh, the more of the uh, good ideas that it has been already generated uh, th that focuses on that. We also have uh, hybridization. We try to combine the best solutions every, uh, I believe, 20 nodes here. Stagnation check, we also check for stagnation and try to perturb the system with a, uh, with a prompt to jolt it in, out, of, out of stagnation. We also have a reflection frequency where the model reflects on this current status and actually creates a plan for the future. So all of these parts can be improved. And we also keep top performance as an example. Uh, and we keep three reflections uh, per 
uh, as an example in the prompt. Yeah, and uh, our target quality threshold is 90%, so we, this progress will end once uh, it reaches uh, 90%. But uh, we don't save the results that don't pass the stage one evaluation, but we save the results uh, if it passes along with its score, uh, score allocation. And uh, and the solutions, for example, this uh, this is the highest scoring solution with eighty nine percent. And if you scroll down, you can see the SAS ideas, Ripple Choice Simulator, a web app for every decision maker facing choices like job switches or purchases. Pattern Weaver, targeted DIY crafters, Harmonious Mediator, a simple platform for co living households. Verdant Voice Gardener for urban gardeners or balcony farmers. Lorelink. Ancestor Weaver aimed at genealogy hobbies or cultural cultural explorers. So the idea is that CBM actually reached ninety percent, and the score uh, see started shooting up once once we were able to pass stage one. But sometimes it can so happen that stage one doesn't get passed very quickly. So this um, minimum score to pass stage one is pretty crucial. Uh, so. Quite a lot of this, should, I feel like, needs fine-tuning, uh, and I, I just wanted to share it at this current stage so that you can actually give it a go. So there are prompts in here that generates the Stage 1 and Stage 2 rubrics and prompts to evaluate with Stage 1 and also Stage 2 and for uh, stagnation, jolting, and uh, reflection generation, and quite a lot of other things. But uh, this is interesting, right? Uh, so we can take a look at the nine, the solution that got 90%. And it says, uh, a web app for individuals tracking sleep patterns and mental wellness. Uh, a mobile first SaaS for multicultural families or diaspora communities blending cuisines. An app for amateur dancers, fitness instructors, or event planners creating routines, input mood, music snippet, description, skill level, and space constraints. Uh, it stands for eco-conscious fashion hobbyists or thrift shoppers minimizing wardrobe waste. Lord and Builder, a tool for indie game developers and novelists or RPG enthusiasts. So I found that this actually is able to create a much more variety. And your actual question can actually be much varied. Maybe we can quickly try another goal here. For example, something as simple as most effective exercise regimen that, that can be done uh, at home and in five minutes. And let's switch this to solution exercise, just ch changing the folder name, and let's start this. And if you look at how the script saves uh, its output, is that it will first create the rubrics, the stage one rubrics, which is current as currently designed, seven rubrics, each worth seven, 10 points. Stage two rubrics, currently as currently said, 30 rubrics, each one of them worth one point. Uh, if you wanted less, uh, rubric, less many rubrics for stage two, then you can increase this increment. For example, you can make it two. If you rather make it two, then there will be 15 rubrics to be considered for stage two. And then every two uh, nodes, so when the tree branches out, uh, when it reaches the, every second node, then it creates a reflection. See here at node two and here at node four. I feel like the reflection creation can be improved by looking at, by improving the prompt. We start saving the progress plot for all solutions, but we don't save solutions that don't pass stage one. And also, we don't uh, update this right side of the graph. And here we have the total quality score distribution, which got really uh, clustered after stage uh, one was passed. <laughs> this is the progress of our uh, second run, by the way, the exercise regimen run. Anyway, when the rubrics pass this uh, stage one, then they get incorporated into the Monte Carlo tree search, and then those solutions are saved. At the end, you end up getting quite a lot of uh, solutions. Each one of these solutions contains five, well, uh, for the first one, uh, five um, 
uh, five a list of five uh, SaaS ideas. But of course, with the exercise, we are going to get a different response here. Uh, five minute full body HII high intensity interval training, for example, and the rubrics for that it has changed. Of course, for example, in stage one we are looking at effectiveness in delivering measurable health outcomes. For example, and uh, I believe you can you can see the progress here. Uh, and I believe this run has will have concluded. Yeah, because we already reached our best solution, which is rated at 93%, uh, because it passed our threshold of 90. So uh, this is how it works. Uh, take a look. This is very interesting. I wanted to use Monte Carlo Tree Search and see what I can come up with. I think this is a good start, and I hope you like it, and uh, I hope you will uh, be able to make it your own and create something useful out of it. Thank you for watching, and remember that the uh, project files for this will be available at my Patreon. The link will be in the comment in the description. And as a paying patron, you will have access to over 500 large language model apps that I've built over uh, the last two years. Uh, also, you'll have access to exclusive videos and weekly meetings. And I also offer consulting uh, membership if you're interested in talking with me, if you need help with your applications, take a look at that membership tier as well at my Patreon. Thank you for watching.